Now, how does it feel to have like carried on the Aladdin legacy through the years, like the decades that it's since it's been? I love it. You know, it's one of these things because it's been. You know, the movie came out 23 years ago, mm -hmm. and every once in a while there'll be there were we did a TV show and sequels, and then you know it'll come out on you know on a DVD, and then 10 years later now on Blu-ray, mm -hmm. and uh, or you know for example the now it's out on Broadway. So it has these moments where it becomes very present in my life again. And I always enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, I really, I love it and I'm proud of it. It's just one of those things that'll, that'll always be a part of my life, yeah. When you were recording, was it just uh, individual recordings uh, in the booth or were you guys all together? Uh, it, was, like it was a little bit of both. Okay. You know, in the, the way it works is in the beginning, everybody records together like an old radio show. At least that's how we did it. Where Linda Larkin, who was the voice of Jasmine or Robin Williams, of course, uh, was the genie. And we would work together and then as, as you got further down the road and they needed to pick up little lines and bits of dialogue, then you would find yourself alone in the studio. So it was a little, but it was great getting to work with those guys. And I love Linda, but of course, obviously, Robin mm -hmm. Williams being in the studio with him as a, as a teenager was mind blowing. Like, cause like he was like so huge, like in that time, like yep. this is Doubtfire Hook. Like, so, oh yeah, well at the time, my ultimate, ultimate favorite movie was Dead Poet Society. I had a giant poster on the wall uh, of Dead Poet Society. Mm -hmm. And uh, so for me to, and, and as a kid, when I was a very little kid, I watched Mork and Mindy, mm -hmm. which is before your time. No, I'm but, familiar. I'm familiar <laughs> but I had a Mork doll, you know? Mm -hmm. And so for me to be in the room working with this guy, this legend, it was very intimidating, but he, he quickly put me at ease mm -hmm. and he was so funny. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that stuff was, um, I'm so lucky because a lot of those, uh, the recording session with him was uh, videotaped. Okay. So I get oh. to watch it. I actually fell down laughing, which is on video. He says some joke and I literally just go, and I dropped to the floor because I knew if I laughed too hard it would ruin the take. So I had to, I hit the floor. 